Tony here. Welcome to my channel. On today's video, I am going to do a review of a handbag that is considered to be in my forever collection. I will never get rid of this handbag simply because I've had it for 11 years. Yes, I know, 11 years. Before we go ahead and get started into this video today, if you haven't already, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so to give you a little background, I've had this bag for 11 years. It's in my forever collection, and I will never, ever, ever, ever get rid of this bag. Simply because it's been 11 years no issues, no repairs, um, no rips, no tears, no nothing. It has been with me through rain, sleet, snow, bars, movies, travel, tabletops, um, hay rides, you name it, this bag has been there. So without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce you to this forever woman. This is a woman, this is not a girl, this is a woman. <laughs> it is none other than the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the Damier Abine print. I've had this bag for 11 years and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, bring this bag closer, do a 360 view, just so you can go ahead and see the detailing on this bag. No issues ever and I'm so grateful and so thankful that I've not had any issues because I know people have had issues with canvas bags, canvas material. I can say that I've never had any issues. So she will stay with me forever because of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bag and you know what, close it back. Let me go ahead and zoom into the hardware. Now I will say that I have never removed the hardware off of here. I've never used the key and lock. This lock has stayed on here the entire time. So I am going to take fault in this because if I had removed it, had cleaned it or done something of that nature, I'm sure it wouldn't be this dark, but it is uh, dark. It is, um, I would say a little bit tarnished, but the zipper pull is in excellent condition. And let me go ahead and show you again, the bottom of the bag. This leather tab, still excellent condition. And the handles, let me not forget the handles so you can see the inside of the handles. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the bag. This is the original dust bag. Now I do have an insert in this bag, so let me go ahead and get this out. It's a little bit of a struggle. So this is a red insert to match the interior of the bag. It has pockets on the outside, um, various pockets in the inside. And I do like this organizer because I feel like it's a good sturdy material. And I think that this helps keep the structure of my bag. And I like my bags to have a structured look. I don't particularly like slouchy bags or if I put the bag down, I feel like it's laying down. I don't like that. Um, so I do like my bags to be structured. And one other item in here, which is, oh my goodness, this is terrible. Okay, finally. So I've had this board um, just about the same amount of time that I've had this bag. So I'm going to say that I've had this board um, for, I would say, maybe about eight years, eight or nine years. I got it um, not too long after um, actually purchasing the purse, um, the handbag rather. So this is from Amazon. This is also from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find a link for this. Definitely include a link for this so that if you are interested, um, you can go ahead and order it. I believe this one was only like $10 at the time. It was something that my sister bought for me. And this I believe was, I would say under $20, but I'll go ahead and leave links for both. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside. Now I did wanna go ahead and show the interior of the bag. And let me go ahead and get these items out. So this is the original product 
tag for the bag. This product number is no longer valid. It, there is a new product number for this item, for the Stamier Abine Speedy 30. And this is the material tab. And this is the original lock and key I've never used. Set that to the side. And interior pocket still in excellent condition. So overall, I am just absolutely ecstatic with this purchase. Couple reasons why. Had it for 11 years, I cannot stress that enough. I've never had any issues and I'm super grateful for that. Number two, which might as well be <laughs> as important as number one, the pricing. When I purchased this bag, let me get my trusty notebook here. When I purchased this bag, I purchased it September 4th of 2011. We are now in 2022. So I purchased this bag. I'm going to say it retailed for around $800, either $795 or $800 on the head, I believe was the pricing. Because my total, which is listed in my Louis Vuitton account to this day, was $835.06. This bag currently retails for $1,550. So in that amount of time, this bag has essentially doubled in price. And also the new product code for this bag is N41364. And there is also, I'm not sure why I didn't get this version. I'm not sure if it was an option for me or was not an option, or maybe I wasn't just aware. I um uh, wish that I had gotten this in the bandolier version. So if you are currently thinking about a Speedy 30 or either any type of Speedy um, and you're looking at both versions, the bandolier and the non-bandolier version, I would suggest going ahead and going into the Louis Vuitton store, try both bags on, see how you feel, look at the various materials that they do come in and see which style is best for you. But if you are seriously considering this bag, I would not wait any further. We are all aware of the painful price increases with Louis Vuitton. Um, and so if you want this bag, if, you, if you've been eyeing it, I wouldn't wait any further. Just go ahead and look at it, try it on, see what's best for you, and go ahead and get the bag. So one other um, pricing that I did want to go ahead and mention, the bandolier version of this bag is $1,890. So once again, if you are serious about getting this bag, if you've been teetering on the fence about it, go in, try it out. I've had this for 11 years, no issues, and I absolutely love this bag. It has been through every season, every experience you can imagine, and she has still held up without any issues. So just to give a little history about this bag, I'm not sure if it was initially created for or just given to Audrey. Can't talk. Let me back up. Stuff has fallen. Whatever. Okay, so this bag was, I'm not sure if it was created for or given to Audrey Hepburn. Which was a famous actress. Um, I'm not sure which year she was around, but she was a famous actress and still is revered to this day. So she needed a bag that she could travel with wherever. So this bag initially came in a uh, cloth canvas material. And let me go ahead and tell you why. So actually, I'm going to leave this zipped. When you receive this bag from Louis Vuitton, from the store, or either they send it to you from the warehouse, it is folded like this. It comes folded up like essentially like a pancake. So if you do order this bag, please don't think that they mishandled your bag or anything like that. It is meant to be a foldable travel bag. So this is the reason why it was created for or given to her at that time because she needed a bag that she can travel uh, wherever, whatever mode of transportation, boat, plane, car, whatever it was, so she can travel easily and have a bag. So this bag is revered for that. And it folds up nicely. And once you receive the bag to get the creases out, all you have to do, unzip, put your hand in, fish around, 
pop open the sides and she's as good as new. Now, let me go ahead and show you this bag with the insert. I can leave out the board because I feel like this is uh, such a heavy material. I don't need the board as well, but that's how I store the bag. And just to again, show you, she definitely keeps her structure and her shape. So I'm gonna bunch this in. So you can see how it looks with the organizer in. And it's this cherry red that matches perfectly. And I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in. And there she is, still in pristine condition. And that is my 11 year update review forever peace. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.